Howdy gang, it's Zippo. Um, had a request uh, from a gentleman to have me help him understand uh, the procedure for changing out the plunger that act activates your points, opens and closes your points. As the crankshaft rotates around, uh, it's meshed with the camshaft, and the camshaft has a really small lobe next to the two lobes that open and close the exhaust and uh, intake valves. You see right here is one valve or one lobe and the other lobe is back here. Um, this piece right here is a brass sleeve or bushing that the plunger rod rides in to open and close your points. If you pull this back after you take your points out you see this moving um, the end of it is uh, kind of like micarta um, but that pops out of the end of the plunger rod now you, if you do this with uh, the engine still in the tractor which it can be done you take your front grill off take your front bearing plate off you can get to everything drain all of your oil out put a paper towel a clean white paper towel at the bottom of your oil pan so that when you do pop that out and the only way the easiest way to pop it out is just grab it with a pair of pliers and yank straight out on it and it will because you're not saving it you've bought a new one a new one's going in you're not going to hurt anything but you don't want to leave that piece of my car to sitting down at the bottom of your oil pan for all of eternity so that's why I say drain your oil uh, pop it out once you pop it out grab the paper towel out of there with that uh, piece of micarta on there out and then we're going to move over to uh, another engine here Hang on just a second let me get my light situated so we can see and I gotta drop the camera down so alright now this is what everyone's familiar with seeing this is uh, the points side you've got points and carburetor side you've got your uh, governor and all of your linkage for that and your points would be here with the cover over top of it um, and this is your plunger that uh, opens and closes the points riding on the camshaft once you pop that out this bushing that's left in here to get that bushing out you drive it in and all you need is a drift punch that is just a little bit smaller. Now you'll have your new one, your, your, your new plunger and bushing. Get you a drift punch just by matching it up to the diameter of, of your bushing. And then get you a dead blow hammer. If you don't have a dead blow hammer, you can use a regular hammer, but there might be a little bit of bouncing. Uh, to help deter that, put a piece of wood in between your drift punch and your hammer. Uh, that will help absorb some of the shock. Um, first whack make it pretty decent so that you get that uh, you know like this 23D is a 1964 that thing has been in there forever you know it's been in there for what 46 years it's gonna be stuck so your first whack make it a decent whack to get that bushing to move but be real careful not to flare the end of the bushing make sure that when you hit you're hitting exactly square on that bushing Otherwise, if you if you deflect to the left or deflect to the right when you whack it, uh, you might mushroom a little bit of it out. That's it'll break off once you get it driving through, but it'll just make it a little more difficult on you um, to, to get it to move all the way through. Now you're going to move through about three eighths of an inch of the block. Um, you'll certainly know when it falls through. When it falls through again, it's going to be in the bottom of the oil pan. Grab it out. The new one goes in the same direction. It goes in this way. Take a piece of wood, or if you have a nylon dead blow hammer with an interchangeable nylon head on it, put the nylon head on. And you're going to have to whack pretty hard, but you can get that going and get it seated. And it sticks out about 30 thousandths. Um, to figure that, just stack up uh, five business cards, the thickness of five business cards. Or, and I think it's just about, let me grab some and check. Hang on just a second.
Okay, I got five business cards, five regular business cards here. I'm going to stack it up to see. Yeah, that's right. Five business cards. You tap that thing in until it is flush with five business cards. That's the easiest way I can tell you to do it. Um, and the cheapest way, instead of going out and getting an expensive set of uh, feelers. Um, but there you have the bushing set in place. And then you take your plunger, push your plunger in to where you can get your hand inside the cavity of the engine from taking the bearing plate off. Right here, you get your hand in there. Do, 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 do. And you can get back behind the cam gear and hold. Uh, you can hold that piece of micarta that's on the end of this, or that is going to be on the end of this, and just hold it and just push the two together, just like you're clicking a, a, an ink pen. You want to click the two of them together. Once you get it started in there, don't worry about getting it all the way in. Once you get it started in there, push the plunger against the cam and give it a couple of gentle taps until you feel that it has bottomed out. That's it. That's all there is to it. And the reason why we would need to change these is because over time, uh, it's a long bushing but over time uh, your plunger can get worn out and if it gets worn out oil is going to get past it the oil is going to come in and and get all over your points and uh, short your points out uh, often and that was a problem that I had on this one this one has a new plunger and new points went through all that effort to get it all put back together real nice and neat ran it took it to the tractor show ran great got it off the truck pulled it over to the barn door Boom! There went the connecting rod. So that was the end of that engine for now. Um, that was, uh, let's see, that was last year, I believe. But um, anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you get that uh, plunger put in there. And if you have any questions or any problems with uh, any of the procedure or need a little bit better explanation, just give me a holler. This is Zippo. Later. I'm out.